Hey, hey, it's Monday, and I am in San Diego getting ready to drop that guy off. Yep, yep, yep. Time to start week 26. After this week, we will be halfway through the year. Get in there, get in there. Time to get this day started. Alrighty, got all three of my vehicles dropped off. Uh, I dropped off about uh, eight minutes away from here. I am at uh, Mannheim, San Diego, which is up towards Oceanside. So we are looking for our vehicle. We got quite a bit of walk, quite a bit of a walk to do. But yeah, we have our gate pass. Now we just gotta find our vehicle. Also looking for two more cars. I do have one booked, but it's going north towards uh, Riverside Inn. I had I had been on another car that was way out in Blythe, so the plan was to go grab that one and then head to Blythe, and from Blythe to uh, somewhere in Phoenix, I think it's like 200 miles or something like that. But I charged them 450 because I'm gonna be leaving San Diego. The one in Blythe that I didn't get, they gave me the other one that's uh, like uh, 40 minutes from here. But since they didn't give me the one in Blythe, I'm, I'm probably going to cancel that one. So I got to find two more here in San Diego. There's some vehicles on the low board. There's an ACV that was on there for 380 twice. I've tried to get it for 400 already. They're not budging on that price. Uh, a service had one lifted, uh, listed for 375. I called them to you know, try to get them to move that, that car up to 425 400 something like that they wouldn't budge it is monday so it's kind of hard to get cars on a monday i tried booking uh this entire weekend but there wasn't much on the low board there is, there is one in up but it it seems kind of shady i, I don't know that the guy is is being kind of shady about it uh, it's an excursion charging him 700 dollars, and he just doesn't stop texting me but he had to post it on backlots for 350 so I, I don't know. I, I, I'm just I just have a weird feeling about it. So I think I'm gonna leave that one alone. But yeah, here we are. We'll get this vehicle picked up and then we'll start looking for other vehicles. Hopefully today is a, a good day and we, and we find our vehicles. Which I don't see why I wouldn't. But here we go. Let's get this guy loaded up. And here we are picking up our third vehicle we already have our second vehicle we're gonna move that guy up to get this guy loaded up we are in black california and i just made it in time they're about to close they're maybe uh, they're gonna close here in about another 10 minutes or so, so just in time but yeah on the way here uh between let me see that pickup and this pickup it was about three hours so I was looking at, looking for loads. Um, no direct customers have called me. So I'm on the low board right now. And I made a couple bids here and there, but nothing. Uh, I do have a bid to pick up tomorrow. And usually they give it to me from uh, Phoenix to San Diego. It's ready logistics, but they haven't given it to me yet. So I'm hoping they give me that one. Backlots uh, has a car posted from San Diego to uh, Phoenix. I see it's a truck posted and they had it for 375 I bid it for oh no 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 they had it posted for 345 I bid it for 425 and they uh, counter, counter bid it or submitted, submitted a counter offer for 375 and I messaged them back I can't take 375 I need 400 so I denied the offer and then I rebid it again for 400. Nope, didn't get it. And I believe there is uh, another one posted now. And no, 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 I actually got one vehicle. Let me check, hold on. And I am wrong, I did not get the other vehicle. I thought I got it. Uh, it was on the board for 410, 435, something like that. And I, I put it i put in the 
I, you could you could instantly book a vehicle, but I put in the pickup dates for Wednesday, pickup delivered Thursday, and I submitted it. And I thought they had given it to me, but I guess they didn't give it to me. They probably found someone to pick it up today and deliver tomorrow. So maybe they did give it to me and someone else bid on it and they pulled it from me. I, I'm not too sure. I, usually when that happens, I see canceled load on it, but who knows? Maybe I forgot to hit the, the button, but I could have swore I had another vehicle that I just picked up. I guess I didn't. So as of right now, I don't have any vehicles for tomorrow, so I'm going to be looking hard on the low board on the way home. Hopefully I can pick pick at least one or two up, so when I drop these off, I have something to do tomorrow. And hopefully tomorrow, uh, I believe there's an auction at either uh, Metro or Odessa. One of the two has an auction going on tomorrow. They always have them on Tuesdays. So hopefully that'll... Uh, that, that'll sell some vehicles in San Diego and uh, I'll be able to pick up but it seems like the the end of last week and uh, it, it kind of slowed down and I thought I was gonna start picking up I thought 4th of July is coming they're gonna have a 4th of July sell event or something like that and there would be a lot more vehicles to transport but maybe the with the economy being the way it is there's just not many cars moving or like I said earlier, it could just be a slow couple of days. I might wake up tomorrow, go deliver some cars, and by the time I finish delivering, there might be 15 cars ready to ship. So that that's that's the way this game is sometimes. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get loaded and start heading back because it, it's hot. It's like 107 degrees here. Yep, 107. I'm gonna get loaded up, get back in my EC, and uh Head back to Phoenix. That's what I'm going to do. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. And we are at Mannheim, Phoenix. We're actually dropping off today. Not picking up. We are dropping off this guy. And look at this. Found all the car haulers. They're all hiding here. A bunch of car haulers here. And this is the drop off site of Mannheim. So, looks like a lot of vehicles are going to auction this week. So, maybe we'll have a good week next week. So far this week, hey, look. Uh, let me see, I bid on a car from, or on, it was actually a truck in F-150 from San Diego to Phoenix. And I got that one for 450 from Backlots. And then all of a sudden, they canceled it. Don't know why. But yeah, so that one got canceled. I did bid on another one from, I believe, Carlsbad coming to Phoenix through Ready Logistics. And that one they sent to me. Uh, I bid on another one coming from that San Diego area, so hopefully I get that. But there's not much right now going to the San Diego area, so I bid on a few, like towards the LA area, I bid on two towards the LA area, I bid on one uh, Moreno Valley, and I bid on another one, uh, where was it, Hemet. The one from Hemet got taken by someone else, so I lost that bid, so I'm just waiting to hear back from the other bids. Uh, I'll keep on looking for other vehicles going to San Diego and we'll go from there. It's still a little bit early in the day, so um, if there was an auction, I'm pretty sure they haven't listed anything yet. So we're going to start dropping off and see how this day turns out. All right, back at the yard. We are all loaded up. I'm telling you, loads are scarce right now. They are scarce. There's, there's not too many up there. Um... Let me see. That one is the only one that's going to the San Diego area. I had to pick up this one and this one going to the LA area. I do have my loads coming back from the San Diego area. But just to get to San Diego, I have to go drop these two off in the LA area. Then head south and drop that one off. So, it is what it is. Got to take the good times with the bad times. Hopefully, 
good times come back around sooner than later so let me see we got 400 for that one we got 400 for that one and that one we got 355 we did have another one but going to san diego but when we got to the pickup location someone had already picked it up so yeah that's that's why we had to settle for these two it is what it is we're just gonna keep on going till we can so with that being said i'm gonna call it a day i will see you guys tomorrow hello hello it is wednesday on day and we are in la we are gonna drop this guy off right now and then we're gonna take these two and move them back just a little bit so yeah middle of the week middle of the week we're gonna get the day started and get that guy unloaded Alrighty, our cars dropped off our cars cars are loaded up uh pretty easy day um nothing too eventful the only thing that was eventful today was that one right there i had a hard time with the key and the ignition it took me a uh, good 15 minutes to get it turned on and that's after the car porter drop, uh, brought it to me it took them about an hour to get it to me but other than that that was only the only eventful thing for today everything else went pretty smooth so yeah we're gonna start heading back Alrighty, we have all of our vehicles dropped off and we have one pick up. We actually picked it up on the way to drop off the vehicle. So yeah, instead of uh, dropping off, coming back and then go, just on the way here, I just picked it up. So nice, very, very nice. We got two more to pick up. Uh, right now they're gonna bring us the vehicle out. Just park behind the trailer, so we don't have to go hunt for it, look for it. Very nice, very nice. <clears throat> It seems like these past two days has been uh there's been more vehicles on the low board and uh they, they've been uh accepting the rate so that's good it seems like in the beginning of the week it was kind of hard just like two weeks ago in the beginning of the week it was kind of hard and even the week before that it's it's if you don't have your cars booked for monday and tuesday uh come friday it's hard to get them on booked on monday or tuesday so uh but next week we're we are uh taking the fourth of july off and we, we might take that Tuesday off too. Not sure yet. We'll see what we do. So I haven't booked any cars for uh, Monday or Tuesday. So we're just going to hold off on that. We do have to do some maintenance on the truck. We're, we're almost at 10,000 miles. We're about 9,000 miles since we've had the, the engine replaced. So we're going to get the oil chains on it. We're also going to drop it off at the dealership, I, I believe, Saturday. There's a recall on it. So we're gonna get that taken care of so yeah fun fun we are waiting for this vehicle to come out and then we are gonna get that loaded up load up one more call it a day it's hot and humid but yeah call it a day after we get the other it's loaded up talk to you guys a bit alrighty we got all these guys loaded up are going to San Diego you see that one right there is paying 400 that one's paying 485 and that one is paying 400 so all loaded up for the day we're gonna go ahead and call it a day head home and then we're gonna head out to san diego early tomorrow talk to you guys tomorrow Friday, Friday is here. Yes, 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 Friday. Okay, we're at our first drop-off location. We're gonna drop off that BMW right there, get that guy unloaded. And then these two right here, both drop off at the same location, which is just a few miles right up the road. So yeah, good way to start the day. Let's get these cars dropped off. Let's get our day started. We already have our three pickups. We're gonna get them all picked up today. And they're all going to the same drop-off location. Very nice, very nice. Well, 
Let's get our day started. Alrighty, I got all these guys loaded up. Each one of these are paying $4.50 each. They are going to the same drop-off location. So I'm going to get them dropped off either tonight or tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. It depends on if I make it home tonight or not. But if I do make it home, I'm going to get them dropped off. Uh, that way we can start our weekend nice and early. Plane being all loud and stuff. But yeah, we're going to... Another reason why we're going to get you dropped off is... Bob, he's an oil change and... Uh, we might put rear tires on it, so yeah. Uh, next week, uh, uh, we'll get some maintenance done and stuff like that, get that taken care of. And that's why we want to get these uh, dropped off as soon as possible. But with that being said, my week is pretty much over. I am done for the week. I am going to call it a weekend. One thing I did notice this week, I haven't seen too many car haulers out there. I don't know if uh, people took the week off or people are taking next week off, but it, there hasn't been too many car haulers either at the auctions, at other dealerships, even down driving down the freeway. I haven't seen too many uh, uh, car haulers, at least not as many as I've, I've seen in the past. So I don't know if it's just a slow week or people are starting to uh, give up on the industry. I don't know. I'll keep you guys in tune. Uh, I know I haven't been putting out daily videos. I just haven't had time. It's been a busy week. I don't know if I'm going to get back to doing daily videos or not. It depends on how how uh, things stay. If uh, if it slows down and I find myself with a little, bit, a little bit more free time, then I'll start doing daily videos again. If not, I'll probably end up putting... Uh, I'll keep on putting out weekly videos at the very least. Maybe I'll do... Uh, uh, a uh, Friday video uh, or a, a Wednesday video and a Friday video or maybe a Monday video and a, and a Friday video I'm not too sure yet but right now I just I, I haven't had time to edit videos and put them out, put them out quickly enough so that's why you haven't seen a video for me this week but I will put the week out uh, the week video out this week and then uh, I'll see if I can well next week no I'm gonna take I'm gonna take some time off next week Monday is 4th of July I'm a veteran so that that's a pretty important uh holiday for me so i'm gonna go ahead and take monday off tuesday i'm not sure yet i'm not too sure if i'm gonna take it off or uh if i'm just gonna go ahead and do maintenance on the truck so next week is gonna be kind of a weird week but yeah i am gonna go ahead and get this stuff strapped down and head home i will see you guys next week numbers for the week here we go alrighty so we got a total gross for the week of six thousand two hundred seventy five dollars not a bad total at all not a bad total we did run a bunch of miles this week we ended up uh getting three trips to california usually we do two trips to california but we squeezed in a third one so Gross is nice at $6,275, but we did put a lot of miles on the truck. Have a total of 2,941 miles on the truck. We ran hard this week. Yes, yes. Our all miles is kind of low. It's at 213. That's, that's not that great, but we had a great gross for the week, so... It is what it is. Had a lot of money deposited into the bank account this week. It's a nice amount. $6,810. One of the reasons why we had so much money deposited is because we had Pablo do a couple of deliveries for us. And then we also booked one for him as well. So that had a lot to do with a big deposit in the bank account this week. We had uh, that nice $6,810. Out of that, we paid Pablo $1,380. Our fuel expense was a little bit higher than usual this week because we had that third one to California. But it was still under $2,000, which surprised me. The truck has been getting pretty good gas mileage or fuel mileage lately. So, spent 
$1,938 on fuel. We had some other stuff that we had to buy, so we spent $326, and that includes meals and all that stuff too. So I've been trying to keep those miscellaneous expenses down. So after we had all of our, all of our payouts, ended up profiting $3,163. So yeah, another good week. We've had a few of those good weeks, and we need it. So yeah, as much as I've been bitching and complaining about rates, bitching and complaining about vehicles and how hard they are to find, I've been doing pretty good. So I'll take that. I'll take that blessing. Well, I am done. You guys have yourselves a good weekend. Have yourselves a good 4th of July. I will see you next week.